Guruji Pranam, my respects. Can I ask, what is the way, the method to kill the mind? Also, is Kundalini Jagran um, necessary? Uh, and number three, can I ask, in the path of sadhana, prarabdha karma, can it be destroyed or killed or burnt, as they say, um, in, in the path of sadhana with meditation methods? Or does one have to suffer bhukatna um, parta hai puru janam ke sab karma? You have to suffer it out. Um, please be so kind as to guide me. Thank you. Pranam. Thank you very much for the asking for this question because you asked and if I'm answering, so this answer is going to be listened by many disciples, many devotees. In the very first stage of your first question, what is the technique, what is the process of killing the mind, what is the technique, how to kill the mind? In the very first stage, I would like to state that this cannot be expressed. The technique or the way of killing the mind cannot be expressed by words. It can be practiced in front of a guru. And please mind it. A guru does not help you out once a disciple says guru. This is the connection between one soul to a master. This can be expressed only once a disciple comes to meet a guru to a master and once he says nothing, once he simply looked into the master's eyes and master says nothing. Master simply look into the disciple eye and everything gets changed. But this process also can be done when a disciple is surrendered to the lotus feet of the guru, of the master. When a disciple bow down to the master's feet and this bowing down is not the compulsion is demanded by gurus. This can be simply looking into the eyes, into the guru's eyes. But the bowing down is the self-explanatory process in which a devotee, a disciple comes and surrender his whole existence, surrender his complete existence to the feet of the master. And this is the process, it, it happens automatically. This, can, this process cannot be forced by neither by this disciple nor by the guru. This is the very first technique a sadhak must possess. And this possessiveness cannot be forced also. It can be happened. Just for example, you 
you said that day how auspicious this is that i am meeting you uh, on the very auspicious day of sharad purnima this happened you didn't try and i didn't try but this thing happened in the same way when you meet me or any disciple meet to a guru the very first stage of killing the mind is the surrender and any master any sadguru does not require any disciple or any crowd of disciples to his feet but if he is a guru if he is a sadguru a real sadguru he always guide to surrender a disciple to the feet of the existence but in the very first stages any of the disciples always required to get surrendered to the feet of the master because if a guru says like if i says to you to surrender towards the existence you will ask for the existence guru ji where is existence i'll show you the event i'll show you the sky i'll show you the tree fountain sky flower but you will not find what i am saying about existence you will go to the flower and bow down you will go to the mountain you will bow down you will find a physical entity and go go and bow down over there but i am not asking you to bowing down to the physical entity i am asking you to bow down to the existence and mentally you are listening that i am saying to bow down to the physical bowing down not to the physical entity but bow down to the existence but the mind is very clever he will find his way to bowing down to the existence but actually this incident doesn't happen this way so for that reason a sadhak a devotee is always required a physical entity which is vibrating to the higher zone of the existence where he can connect where he can talk to that uh, person where the guru is vibrating to the higher energy where a disciple can get the guidance guidance can be in the worldly form or in the energy form so the very first stage you must find a physical master where your soul gets connected automatically and when you hear to the voice of your master when you hear the vibration of the master from your soul you when you feel that you are getting connected to the master soul close your eyes and think that are you really getting connected to that master or this is only a, a mind game and when you see when you feel from the very core of your heart very core of your existence very core of your soul that you are getting connected his words are going deep into you then blindly blindly go to the master and say that i am yours now
don't go with any wish just go for surrender this is the very first thing a devotee or a sadhak must have this is the main basic quality the surrenderness nothing else is required everything goes as it is once this thing happened and if you ask for the technique what are the technique of killing the mind so my dear i always go for non techniques i teach every techniques existed on the earth i have gone through every techniques but the mind is so clever if i teach you one technique you will hold on it you'll keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it what my procedure is to not to ask for doing any single technique there are so many books written by the masters there are so many informations available on the google so many audios videos everywhere there are so many techniques you can find and do on your own i have met so many people doing technique for 5 years for 10 years for 20 years but keep on doing but they keep on doing as their master says what after that what after that so this is the main reason why i am not forcing anyone to do any kind of technique but yes in my meditation camps i teach different kinds of techniques related to different kind of states because they in the initial stage they need a technique they need a base to stand upon from where they want to peep to that samadhi state peep to that no mind state peep to that existence we are actually got exist on the very first stage they require a base so i give them a base of techniques but i don't give them space to stand on any of the technique forever i give them base i snatch i give them base i snatch i give them base i throw away them and this very technique of not allowing you to stay on any of the technique is the main technique of no mind a proper guidance by a master by a guru is always required when a disciple live his life under the feet of the master when he says when a disciple says that oh master i am nothing in front of you i am simply surrendering myself just pull me wherever you want if this thing happened to a disciple to a sadhak this is a very 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 big technique of going from mind to no mind to samadhi state to the existence i hope you must have understood what i have said as i have said in the very starting this cannot be expressed by the words 
So if you feel any time my guidance, you have got my number, you can message me, WhatsApp me. Try to meet once and try to attend the meditation camp which I organize on the name of death of mind so that we have met don't know when we met earlier in the past words or not or whether in the next you are here or I am here no one knows once we have met let's start the journey and finish the game I will always be helping to the those real sadhaks who have got fire inside, who have got urgency, those who have seen that they have not much time. I am here and I am working with few sadhaks, few devotees very closely guiding them so that before I leave I can make a situation where few souls reach to the level where actually living starts. <laughs>